it happened again. The last time we saw a new Minecraft cape was back in July of 2021, but today, over a year later, I'm back to cover the mystery of Minecraft's new Valentine cape. But this cape is more mysterious than anything we've seen yet. Let's get into it. Oh, and real quick, subscribe and you'll get more videos like this one coming very soon. So if this news seems a little abrupt and out of place, well, it is. I learned about this Tuesday when I woke up at 3 p.m. because broken sleep schedule was on top and I was just bewildered. A brand new cape was already incredible, but there were three very important qualities that made it even crazier. First, this was not a Mojang staff member, this was just a guy. Second, the new Valentine's cape appeared in the middle of August. And third, after talking with the owner, the story behind it was so absurd it sounded like a joke. But let's start from the beginning, the discovery. The first time we heard of this new cape anywhere, from what I can tell, is from a Discord message posted by hthug06 in my Discord server. Join that, by the way. He simply linked to the new cape on NameMC and asked if it was new, and immediately that raised some eyebrows. If you remember from my video on the birthday cape a year ago, that was found through a project ran by some friends of mine that collected info on nearly the entire Minecraft player base, and they had never seen a cape like this. Even if they had and decided to keep it secret, it would have never appeared on NameMC because you have to search for an account for it to pop up there, so that meant that this cape was probably brand new. The brand new, very pretty cape only belonged to one user, LolFoxy2, who seemed like just an ordinary guy. No connection to Mojang, he didn't translate or build maps, and he wasn't a player of some other Mojang game like Scrolls or Cobalt, he was just someone. Fortunately though, getting a hold of him wasn't too difficult. A quick glance at his name MC profile and you could see both his public Discord account and his favorite server to play on, his own SMP known as Xcheese. So naturally, some of the more invested members of my Discord quickly rushed to interrogate the man. Who do you work for? Where'd you get the cape? Does this police suit make me look fat? And his answers were cryptic. At first, he simply said that it was classified, like he was hiding North Korea's nuclear launch codes in the cape texture, but he eventually opened up some more to reveal a bit of information. First was the official name, the Valentine Cape, which is good since at the time people were referring to it as the Flower Power Cloak, which, I mean, sure. With that though, we also got some sad news, in that just a few minutes after the cape had been discovered, it had been removed from Foxy's account. But where did it come from in the first place? Well, apparently he had met with a Mojang staff member, and though he kept his mouth shut as to who that was, a few sleuths hopping onto his linked Minecraft server found the likely culprit, someone by the name of Echelangelo. Echolangelo, as far as we can tell, doesn't work on Minecraft. He was found through the Minecraft Dungeons Discord where he's apparently a back-end developer, which would explain why seemingly out of nowhere, while he was helping Foxy with migration, he gave him the hallowed Valentine cape and joined his server even to build him a heart. It seems that Echolangelo had no idea that capes on Minecraft were meant to be anything of value. In Minecraft Dungeons, where you can pick up a cloak from mob loot or through trading with merchants, giving out a cloak would be like giving someone an iron sword or something as a gift. No one would bat an eye. On Minecraft Java Edition, that was a free $10,000 cape voucher if the player chose to sell his account. But it was too late. Though Echelangelo and Foxy might not have known what had just happened, some of Foxy's friends most certainly did, and as soon as he discovered the cape on his account was more than just a funky cosmetic, he rushed to show it off. Of course, the best place to do that is NameMC, so he hopped onto their official Minecraft server, Blockmania, and used some commands to open up a NameMC account where he could add his contacts, his server, and of course, show off his cape. When players began to visit the NameMC cape list and see the brand new design listed along the classics, the secret was out. And that's where our knowledge of the story begins, with thousands of intrigued players across the world collectively wondering how and why this mysterious cape came around. So now you're all caught up. But that still leaves a very important question. What is this cape? Well, that remains to be seen. See, I think the name and the design of the cape make it pretty clear what it's for, Valentine's Day. But why it only appeared now, we don't know. There is one thing I've left out though, that you might find interesting. According to Foxy, the one and only player to have owned a Valentine's cape, it's going public. 
the Valentine's Cape will be released to all players on Valentine's Day of 2023, or so it would seem according to his belief. That is super interesting, because situations like this actually did used to happen early in Minecraft's history. Back in Christmas of 2010, all players were displayed with a red Christmas tree cape, and on New Year's Eve of 2011, a year later, everyone had a purple fireworks cape on. It's possible that for the first time in over a decade, these holiday capes are making a return, but there's one very important difference. Back during these holidays in 2010 and 2011, the capes were never actually added to any accounts. They were simply displayed, similarly to the way that chests had special Christmas designs at the time, even though they didn't actually replace the chest texture for every player. It was only temporary. But here, with this Valentine's cape, it was actually manually added to an account, meaning that it's in the cape delivery system along with all the other capes we know and love, like the Migrator, Minecons, Mojangstas, and so on. So is the Valentine cape going to be a one day gimmick or will we have a brand new permanent option for a cape on Valentine's 2023? Well, that's a question we don't have an answer to. When Echelangelo realized his mistake, he removed every trace of the Valentine cape from Foxy's account before disappearing off the face of the internet, having his messages nuked on Foxy's Discord server where he talked with Foxy to fix his account, play a bit of Minecraft, and eventually gift him the cape. As far as we know, no one over at Mojang has opened up about the situation, and at the time of this video's release, the Valentine's cape is just as much of a mystery as ever, despite not being owned by a single player. I mean, can you blame us? This is quite possibly the most intriguing story behind any cape. Heck, one of the most interesting stories behind any account in Minecraft history, and it popped up out of absolutely nowhere. This is almost certainly not the end of the story, especially if the cape does end up resurfacing on Valentine's Day next year. But for now, that's where our tale comes to an end. At least for the Valentine's cape. See, this is a story I plan to make an entirely separate video on soon enough, but as I was finishing up this video, an interesting post popped up on Minecraft.net, introducing the Vanilla Cape. In looking at the source code for the site, this new Vanilla Cape will be available for a special selection of players on both Bedrock and Java Edition. It looks like the Valentine Cape isn't the only new discovery for our Java Edition friends. Mojang is just getting started. Thank you to Manicube for being a great partner for this video. They have super fun parkour where I've actually built like 50 maps for you to enjoy, but tons of other modes if that's not really your thing. Highly recommend the server. Regarding the vanilla cape, stay tuned for the next few days and I think you'll like what you see. Until then, thank you all for watching, I very much appreciate it, and have yourselves a very good one. Peace.